Hello everyone, it's a bit of a short video today, but I thought I'd just talk through my experience of the UCAT test day, as that might be coming up for some of you, and it might be helpful to know what I experienced, a few bits and pieces around that. Um, so I hope this helps, and if you do like the video, please feel free to subscribe and whatever, do that stuff. But yeah, without further ado, let me get straight into talking about my experience. All right, so the day arrived, it was 31st of August, 2021, uh, so almost a year ago. And I drove up to Aylesbury, what my dad did, and I got out of the car, said bye to him because you're not allowed anyone else in the test centre with you. Um, I went inside and said hello to the lady at the reception. Um, I gave her my provisional driving licence and told her that I was here for my UCAT. And she said it was all ready for me um, and that I should put my stuff away. So I got all my stuff in my bag um, and I put it in a locker. The only thing I was allowed to take into the room with me was my driving license and the locker key. So um, eventually they were ready for me. I walked inside the room and sat down at computer number eight, I think, something like that. And in front of me, I saw a pair of headphones, uh, a whiteboard and pen, uh, and the actual computer. I'd like to mention a few things here. First of all, my keyboard in the Ellsbury Test Centre looked a little bit like this one here. So it's like flat keys um, instead of the classic like library ones that you have, which are a bit thicker, like membrane keyboards. Uh, so that's what I had. And the mouse was just any normal mouse. Um, and the whiteboard and pen was a bit weird. So I was expecting the whiteboard to look something like this, right? Like a big whiteboard with, with a pen like this, which is like a bit thick. And that's what I practiced with. But um, apparently they gave me just like a normal looking pen. It was, it, was a, it was a marker, but it was like a thin pen. And it was an A4 sort of laminated sheet that I could write on. So that was a bit different to what I was expecting. Um, but hopefully that helps. I mean, it will be different for each test centre, uh, but that's what I had. So don't fuss too much about what equipment you use to practice, uh, because realistically it might change in the actual exam centre. Uh, but yeah, so I had all that in front of me. I take a few deep breaths um, and I started the test. All right, sorry to rudely butt in, but I've realised I forgot to mention what the headphones were for. So uh, headphones were for just noise cancelling, so you could put them on um, because there's other people in the room and you're going to hear clicky clicky sounds all the time and you don't want to hear that. Um, so that's what they were for. Some centres do earplugs as well, so it depends on the centre. But I decided to wear them. It seemed to help cut out some of the noise. So that was good. But yeah. All right, now I actually talk about my experience of the test itself. Um, first of all, the test was really tough, like two hours of ridiculous concentration. And you know that the test matters. It's scary, it's tough, I know. It's very difficult um, to concentrate for that long even. Uh, but I went straight in, saw the first verbal reasoning question and just didn't know what to do. It was this huge passage on like some historical revolution or something no idea what to do so I just skipped past that looking for kind of smaller text smaller passages and apparently for all 44 questions of the UCAT at that time for verbal reasoning none of them were short passages so I panicked for the first five minutes and then sort of just tried to battle through each question as it came I probably skipped about 20 of the questions um, and just sort of guessed something for them the others I sort of tried to write some answer for but genuinely after the verbal reasoning section, I thought I'd got about 10 out of the 44 marks. Like I might've actually got that, I don't know. Um, don't know how the exact scoring system works, but yeah, that was ridiculously difficult. So please don't get bogged down if that happens to you and your VR goes really terrible. It's a t really, really tough section. Um, so that was, that was really difficult. I had to somehow sort of gather myself together for the next section. So in that one minute break, I sort of just relaxed a little bit, breathed um, and went into decision-making. I can't fully remember decision making um, so well, like how it went. It, it seemed pretty similar to the practices I'd done. So I did that, that seemed all right. Um, and then again, one minute break. Each one, one minute break I actually used to the, to the fullest. Like I actually just let it run on its own because uh, I wanted to sort of breathe and sort of think about each section just before I did it. Um, so yeah, just sort of went through decision making, went through, uh, what's the next one? Quantitative reasoning, I think, yeah. Um, and then finally, abstract reasoning. Now, abstract reasoning, I was really scared for because I, was, I wasn't very good at abstract reasoning, but it turned out that the questions were kind of a bit easier than what I was expecting. Uh, so that was really helpful. Um, I couldn't do some of, the some of the sort of stems, 
uh, but a lot of them I, I was able to sort of tackle. Um, and then overall, like if I had to give one piece of advice for when you actually set your UCAT, is just do it like it's a mock because you've done your mock so many times. There's so many, hopefully you've done loads of mock papers. You you know how to tackle your mock papers. You, you've got this sort of technique that you've already built within you. So just stick to that. Just pretend it's like a mock and just keep working through it. And don't let that fear that, oh my God, this exam matters, like get to you. Just sort of pretend it's a mock and keep going through like that. Um, so yeah, just breeze through those, well, by breeze through, I mean the time flew by. I, I was crapping myself throughout most of it. Um, and then finally, SJT. Now, SJT, I think personally, is quite like a, a bit more relaxed in terms of timing. Um, so I sort of just took each question as it came, really slowly thought about each each part. Um, I don't know, I personally, I'm not a fan of SJT. It's very difficult sometimes to tell whether it's like, whether you completely strongly agree or agree a little bit, but I did, it, did my best for that. Um, and then, so normally in my mock papers, so this is what I was mentioning earlier, um, I finished about 15 minutes before um, the actual set time for SJT. And I was thinking, well, it's my actual exam. Like, should I sit here and really think about each question again and check through? But uh, I hadn't done that before. And I thought there's no point in like overdoing it or trying to do something different because my mock test seems to have worked relatively well. Um, so I just clicked end test 15 minutes before the end and, uh, you know, <laughs> finished it, put my hand up and waited for them to come and collect me out of the room. Once I was out of the room, uh, loads of emotions. Now, I'll let you figure those emotions out for yourself because it is quite exciting to kind of have finished an exam like that. Um, but once I was done, I just waited. Uh, again, the lady at the desk she said she's going to print my um, results for me. Printed them out, folded them up so I couldn't see them in front of her um, and handed the sheet over to me. And I went outside the exam sort of building and opened up my results, uh, saw my score and then phoned my dad uh, to come and collect me because he was, I don't know, he's dropping or something. But but yeah, that was generally my experience. Um, overall, I was quite happy with it. Everything seemed to run smoothly. From my understanding, if it doesn't run smoothly, if there's any problems, just put your hand up and they'll come uh, help you out with whatever it might be. Uh, but overall, it seems to run quite smoothly for me. Uh, but yeah, so that was my general experience of the UCAT. Uh, pretty standard, nothing too fancy, but maybe that gives you some idea of what to expect. But overall, don't stress it, you'll be fine. Once you've hit this time that you're watching this video and it's test day tomorrow, I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm sure you're gonna smash it, uh, but good luck. And let me know how it goes in the comments. But yeah, thank you for watching and see you next time.